Hey YouTube, it's Tia. Um, I am 36 weeks today. I'm surprised I've made it this far. Um, I definitely thought I would have delivered by now with all of the problems that I've had. Um, I'm really happy that I'm this far, and I'm hoping I can make it one more week. Um, my doctor said take... He wants me to take one more week of my Perpartia, which is my contraction medication. And then he said I can stop it on Friday, so, um, not this Friday, but next Friday. So, that's really exciting. Um, most likely, I'm going to end up going into labor the day that they take me off of it. Um, just because my contractions do make me dilate. And, um, I'm at a three right now. Um... Uh, that was based off Monday. Um, let's see. What is new? Last night, um, my, like, biggest complaint is heartburn. And last night, I don't know what happened, but I was sleeping. And I always take Tums before I go to bed. I take two Tums before I go to bed or any time after I eat or drink a lot of water because I always get heartburn from anything. Uh. Excuse me. <laughs> um, so I woke up. I don't know what time it was. It was probably like 2 in the morning. Um, woke up and I like threw up in my mouth and inhaled it. Like it wasn't like throw up. It was like acid. I threw up like some acid in my mouth. Sorry, this is really gross. But um, And I inhaled it on accident. Because I was, like, freaked out that I puked in my sleep. And so I had to get up. And I ran to the bathroom. And I started, like, throwing up acid. And, um, and I, like, being pregnant, pee your pants when you do any kind of function out of your face. Like a sneeze or a cough. So I'm, like, sitting in there. And I threw up acid, <laughs> peed my pants, and could not get this acid out of my, like, esophagus. And my throat hurts so bad today. I'm, like, scared to go to sleep again. Um, it's, that is, like, the worst complaint that I have with being pregnant. Um, what else? He's moving a lot. He's, he's really active. Um. It seems like he's doing pretty good. Sorry, my bonsai plant looks weird. Um, his heartbeat was, it was pretty low on my last doctor's appointment. It was 134, or 136, which is the lowest that I've seen his heart rate get. Because it's normally in like the 140s, 150s, 160s. Um, so it was, was kind of weird. Um, what else is new? I'm glad fall is almost here. It's finally starting to cool off where I'm at, so I'm not, like, dying from the heat. Um, so, me and Jesse are, like, rushing to get our house done. Um, we're thinking we'll have it done on the 12th, which is, like, the day after I get off my medicine, so I'm hoping he doesn't come until after we move in there, um, this whole remodel, we've been remodeling for, like, three months, we completely, like, gutted the house and redid everything, um, we're waiting on our new appliances still to get those, we have, like, pretty much everything done, it's all touch up from now on, and, like, the one last big thing that they have to do is put our wood burning stove in and our trench to the pump house for our sewer and water. Um, so that's not hooked up yet, which is like a big thing. Like we can't move in there unless it's, unless it's, um, done. So, and we can't, we're not going to start moving stuff in until after, um, he's here or after, I'm sorry, I'm trying to water my plant while I'm doing this. We're not going to move in until it's completely done. That's what I was trying to say. Um, 
So, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um. What else? What else? What else? I brought his bassinet over to the house that we're in right now, just in case, because I, if I do deliver him, I want a place for him to be able to sleep. And anybody who has cats, help me. <laughs> I have a cat and a dog, and our cat and dog are never in the same room together. Like, we kind of have to keep them separated because they hate each other, which is really hard on me. And my cat has destroyed so many of Shiloh's things. Like, his, I got these car seat toys for that hang down. She ripped all the stuffing out of them. Um, I set up the bassinet, and she keeps climbing in it and getting hair in it, and I keep having to vacuum it out. And so I finally put bags in there and, like, a blanket over it so that her fur doesn't get anywhere near it. I don't want him having allergies to her, so I'm, like, really worried about that. And, we, I mean, like, I don't want to give her away, but we might have to at this point. Um, if it's, like, this big of a hassle now, I can only imagine how big of a hassle it's going to be with the baby. So, any help on, like, if there's something that you guys know of that I can, like, spray on his stuff that's okay to spray on his stuff and he's not going to be affected by it that will keep her off of his things, let me know. Um, any, like, natural thing. I don't want any chemicals or anything like that. But that's, like, my main worry right now. Um, so, yeah. I'm trying to think what else. Um, my boobs are getting a lot bigger and they hurt again. And my, I don't know what it is, but my left boob is like a full cup size bigger than my right boob. And I don't know if that evens out, but I'm hoping it does. Um, it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> um, let me see. I'm really excited to try breastfeeding too after he's born. I am going to try and breastfeed for up to a year, minimum like six months. Um, so yeah. And I've got a lot of feedback on the cloth diapers too. Um, my family is like totally against it, but I'm all for it because for one, for the environment. For two, I heard, I, from what I know and what I've read, it helps with diaper rash and all kinds of stuff. Um, the diapers that I did get, they're called Babyland diapers. And I bought a pack of 20 and 20 inserts from um, eBay for $65, which is incredibly cheap. And the reviews on the Babyland diapers aren't bad. Like, everyone says that they don't leak. The only thing is that the elastic in the back, um, some people say that it will, like, leave a mark on the baby. Um, but, yeah, I'll grab them really quick. Hold on. Okay. They can get them out of here. Um, so, I, I went on YouTube, though, and typed in, like, Babyland cloth diapers, like, how to use, and, like, reviews on them, and a lot of people like them. They're, one lady did say they're, they're really bulky, but, um, I'm not too worried about that. I think it's going to be fine, because it's going to be winter time when he's here, you know, so he's probably not going to be, they're, like, really warm, too, so he probably... We'll just be in the in his diapers and like a shirt or something. But I'm not gonna start putting putting these ones on him until he's about um, three months because I want I want the meconium to be gone because I don't want it to ruin his diapers. Um, and then I also um. I want him to be big enough. I mean, these are, I got these ones. This is what they look like. They're one size fits all. I'll show you how they work. Um, so they're adjustable. 
Okay. That's what they look like. Oh, here, wait. These are adjustable up to 30 pounds, I think. I think. I'm not positive. Um, so these three rows are to adjust the, um, the length of them. So I had it on the smallest one for right now since that's a newborn. And then um, you have uh, this for the tightening of the diaper. Um, I had, the way I'm doing it right now is I'm counting over five buttons. So one, two, three, four, five. And then there's a little snap right there and there's another one right there. So I snap the first one in and then the second one in. And then bring this over this part and just snap it onto the front. And there you go, you got a cloth diaper. Um these ones are they are pretty bulky, but um I think it will be fine. Now another thing with these diapers is they do have inserts. So there is a and that's an insert. It's just a piece of cloth and it pulls the pee away from the diaper so it keeps the diaper dry. Um, and yeah, it just goes in this little pocket right here. The only thing another another lady said that the thing that she didn't like is that where you put the insert in in this pocket, it's not like the size for an insert. Like this is open all over here too. So she said she didn't like that. So she said if you can hem things, she said sew it um, so it doesn't leak over there. But I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, so I will let you guys know how these end up working out. Um, like I said, I won't be using them till about three months. But I am really excited to use them. They're cool. They come in like all different colors. I don't know if it's the pack that I bought or what, but there's a lot of girly ones in here, so I'm going to be using the girly ones for, like, bedtime. This one's not too bad. But, yeah, bedtime diaper. Um, bedtime diaper. That's Hello Kitty, by the way. <laughs> and then bedtime diaper. So, yeah, those are, like, the only girly ones. The rest are, like, I got yellow, green... We got this one, that one's kind of girly. Um, I have blue, red, orange. I got this one, this one's kind of cool. It just has bunnies on it. Um, but yeah, so I really do like these diapers a lot. Um, I have to go to parenting class, so I'm gonna end this video. Um, if you guys have any questions on cloth diapering or any suggestions or comments, anything, um, let me know. Just leave a comment. Um, I'm going to show you guys my belly and then we will be done. Hold on one second. Okay. Okay, so... This is 36 weeks. There's some the front. There's some the side. There's just my shirt up. I have so many stretch marks. Um, that's from the front. That's on the other side. So, yeah. I am getting big. He is getting big. Um, Alright, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.